I am Dr. David Mohammed of the Black Agenda Project and the Nation of Islam based in Trinidad and Tobago. And I am completely against the idea of mandatory vaccination for children for three main reasons. One, the United Nations ICCPR, which is the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which was ratified in 1966 and came into force in 1976, after consideration of the crimes against humanity against the Jews, made it unlawful for persons to be subject to scientific and medical treatment and experimentation against their will. Trinidad and Tobago signed on to this in 1979 and most probably all other Caribbean nations did the same. Second reason, based on the statistics that they give to us, it is highly unlikely for young children to even contract the coronavirus. If they do, it's highly unlikely for them to get sick from it. And it's near impossible, we mean 99.9% .9 sure at least, that they would not die from it. So how can you take the group that is least at risk and mandate this kind of what comes across as draconian policy against them. And the third reason is that how can you claim to respect a people's citizenship rights, their sovereignty, their nationality, their human and civil rights, and force and impose your will on them against their own desire for whatever motive there may be, because we're constantly getting mixed signals and mixed messages over the information that we receive. So have respect for the citizens, rely and have faith on their intelligence that we all have gotten the facts, got the information with our own individual sense of reason, have determined what we think is right or wrong for ourselves and made those decisions accordingly. My name is Andrew Francis, owner and operator of Duro Body Fitness here in Trinidad and Tobago. Vaccinations for kids. I have a son, a 13-year-old boy, and I had my second thoughts to vaccinate him. Um, he has friends who got the vaccine, so he didn't want to feel left out, right? He was actually quite excited in wanting to go and get the vaccine, right? He came and he was asking us about it constantly. And um, me and my wife, we decided, well, we wanted to hold off a little bit. You know, we wanted to see the effects of it, right? I think there's a lot of um, doubt, especially when it comes to, the, to your kids, if you should get them vaccinated or not. Um, so we decided to hold off a little while, right? But the pressure of being mandated to do so doesn't help, right? It doesn't make you, it doesn't make, it doesn't make me feel comfortable to want to do this, right? But we did it um, because we didn't want any drama when it came to him and going back to school and all this sorts of stuff. I think there's enough drama as it is surrounding the vaccine on a whole. Um, my advice, monitor. Do your research, you know, see the effects, talk to your kids and then make a decision for their safety, your safety, and I guess everyone has their safety. So what's born in Trinidad and Tobago and Tobago? Boxing trainer, coach, manager, promoter, boxing encyclopedia, boxing extraordinaire. A question been asked to me whether I will encourage my children to take the vaccine. Do I believe in the science? The answer is yes. Do I believe that we get all the information from the scientists? The answer is no. Is it that the vaccine is good? I think it's evolving. Should the children take vaccine at this stage? I have mixed feelings about it. Will I take vaccine? Maybe when it becomes mandatory or maybe not. Should the children be vaccinated at this stage? It should not be obligatory on the parents part that they must take the children to, 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 to take this vaccine. If it is that the children do not want to take the vaccine, how could you hold a child screaming and bawling and pulling them in a room to be needled with this vaccine? I think it should be optional. The answer is no, because uh, when uh, 
Corona, when there was a, uh, an outbreak of coronavirus, uh, it was discovered that uh, most of the people who suffered from coronavirus were elderly people. So the idea of vaccinating uh, their children, the young ones, is not ideal because the, the disease itself, which is coronavirus, does only affect elderly people. So the, the, the surge still appears to be high in elderly people. So young ones, I, I, I think, should not be, should not be uh, vaccinated because in the first place, in the first instance, even the, 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 the medication itself is meant for people who are older than the children, that is the elderly people. And that medicine, once it is taken by young ones, I don't think it, is, it can do good to them. So the best way is to continue vaccinating the elderly people. They should allow their children to get the vaccine because uh, so that they can protect them from uh, illness. You know, uh, children uh, usually go to school, then even just in the communities where they are found, they are prone to uh, acquire the virus because they wouldn't know who's uh, got the virus and, and so on and so forth. And again, the, they should get the vaccine in order to, to stop um, the, the imaging of the variants because the more the, vi the virus is moving from place to place, then the community will be at higher risk of uh, uh, being uh, with a lot of uh, people that will get sick from, from, from the same virus. My name is Orandi Machoge from Kenya. Um, I believe that it's the obligation of the parents to get their children vaccinated. Um, the children uh, interact with a lot of people in their daily lives and they could uh, convey the coronavirus back at home and uh, it could infect the parents. So I believe that it's the obligation of the parents to get their children vaccinated. Hi, my name is Jackson Munjao. I'm from Kenya. And, uh, I'm talking about uh, vaccination for kids under 18. I think uh, it's good that they take the vaccine because uh, it helps. It's better if they are safe than sorry. And uh, uh, the, the COVID uh, crisis has been a major uh, problem in our country. And uh, we think it's good for our kids to be safe and uh, vaccinated. Uh, as for myself, I've been vaccinated and uh, I feel okay. And I think for the kids, it will be it will be fine for them. So it's better if they are vaccinated. Uh, and that's all. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm from Kenya, and I think children who are under the age of 18 years should actually get the job because um, it goes on both ways. We're actually thinking if, is it really necessary to protect them and health-wise um, are the repercussions or the, what is this, sort of disadvantages that one gets, are they able to um, sustain all the side effects that come with getting a job? But um, I think the other side, which is um, health-wise and protection, safety, outweighs this other one because these children, they're exposed to many things at a go, especially children who are younger than, say, 10 years old. They, they, they expose each other to so many things. Um, their teachers, let's say, in school, might have already gotten the job, but you know, the job necessarily just protects you from not um, having, uh, what is this, adverse effects when you get COVID. But who says when the teachers come from where they're coming from, um, coming to teach the children, they can't actually spread the, 
COVID to the children and also um, when children are playing they usually play they don't have any um, mode of interaction as we adults do have when we're interacting out here you know we, we know we have to wear masks stay at least two meters or one meter from the other person which those things are actually done right now because of the job and you see now children are still living by those rules and they've not gotten a job so i think it's really important advice for your safety to get the job because um it will in the long run it will protect them from so many things that they're exposed to